Hey, this is Chan from Different Skill, and I'm bringing you a Spectral Dunk Dragon video now. Um, do not mind me saying Spectral Dunk. I do realize it's called Spectral Duke, but we have a different way of doing it around here, okay? So, every time I say Dunk, it means that I've been superior calling things on top of my deck, or I've been using Spectral Duke's effect, okay? So you're going to hear me say the word Dunk a lot. A lot. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so on to the starting vanguard. Um, Black Dragon Whelp Vortimer. Vortima, as you know, Ren says it in his super moy voice. Um, so basically, when you ride level 1 Vortimer over him, he will look at the top 7 cards, and then you select either um, Black Knight Vortimer or Spectral Dunk Dragon, and add it to your hand. So, that's yeah, pretty basic ride chain for um, the newer cards. And um, for triggers, for crit, for crit, I run these as my draw triggers because of the ability to be dunked, and then it gains plus 2k, or you can give something 2k if it gets dunked. So, yeah. Uh, I kind I'm playtesting them right now. Uh, doesn't really matter too too much to be honest. Um, it's it's fine even if it's 4K. So go to Grey Ones. Um, the level one Vortimer. I actually forgot what his name is. I think his this is probably Scout wait Scout Scout of Darkness. I think actually it's it's different from the English and Japanese. The Japanese one um, he is. I don't know, but he is um, Dragon Whelp Vortimer, and he is like um, Scout probably still. I don't know. Anywho, and then um, you know, pretty simple. You ride him over the one, and then you get to search, and then you need him in the soul for the level two Vortimer to activate. So yes, we need some of these. Uh, I play one Nimue because it's hot, and um, yeah, it's hot. Its effect is okay, I guess. And um, in this deck, everything that I play can either benefit from being dunked or it can dunk. So like this can dunk. It, um, this gets benefit from being dunked. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me saying dunk over like twenty thousand times this video. So the level one uh, hair, the bunny, bunny girl, um, when she's dunked, so last one, um, so uh, draw one card. So basically, when it's called from the deck, so last one draw a card. Dunked. Good, good, good terminology. Um, it's also pretty hot. 6k, so. Good stuff. For Halo Shield Mark. Do I only run that little fucking grade ones? Holy crap. Weird. I can't believe I don't skip grades. Hmm, weird. I run so little actually now that I think about it. It was like, what? Three, two, three play sets. So 13. Yeah, 13 is really low for grade one lineup actually. So. I, I have never actually missed grade one. But I probably don't get um, Black, Walt, Vort, uh, Black Knight Vortimer um, too much. So, anywho. So, uh, for Halo Shield, um, this is because I'm running 9 grade 3s. So, yeah. I don't know. It's a weird build, and I just decided to. So, this is my grade 1 lineup. Very shiny. Lots of double R's in it. Expensive deck is expensive, I guess. So, Black Vanguard Vortimer. Um, of course, these names are probably not accurate if you're playing English. I believe they changed it, but this card, I know it, I know it as um, Jet Black Vanguard Vortimer. So he's the grade 2. When you ride him over your grade 1 Vortimer, and then you have the level 0 Vortimer in your soul, you can um, send one unit you control to the drop zone, so preferably played something behind it. I'll explain all this stuff later in case you don't know how to do it. And then um, you can superior call two cards off the top of your deck. And uh, you can choose, uh, choose to call them or not to. They, the rest remain at the bottom of your deck if you opt not to. But there's no real point. Say you got a trigger and you're like, I better not call it so I can save it for later. But it's at the bottom of your deck, so good luck getting to it. For Lop Ear Shooter. Now, this guy, 9k, when he's um, dunked, you can discard one card, look at the top three cards of your deck, and superior call one of them. So it's a break even. Um, when you dunk it, or superior call it, from the deck, when you're lame and you don't say dunk, when you dunk it from the deck, 
and then um yeah so discard one card look at the top three search for one uh i don't think it has a limitation i'm pretty sure it's just one gold paladin and then call it out of the three so yeah i run four of those and i play three vivian um vivian's okay i guess yeah it's not too good not too bad so yeah mm, vivian's okay counter boss one when it hits uh, counter boss one, if it's boosted by gold paladin, you may superior call the top card of your deck. Dunk, dunking, etc, etc. That's my grade two lineup. Uh, 11 grade twos. So it's an uh, okay lineup. And then the real fun part. Three, uh, the great silver wolf Garmaw. Garmor, whatever. So counter boss two, superior call one card from your, one level two or lower gold paladin from your deck. Limit break for um, plus two plus five k one attacks. Simple enough. So basically, you can do a lot of good things with him if you miss your dunk, and it's a good plan B. Three um, hair of the moonlight shadow, uh, Pelinor. So this card is really fun. It is really really fun. Now I will explain this now. His ability is when he is called from the deck, and your opponent has a level 2 or higher rear guard, you may discard one card and superior ride this card from your rear guard zone. Now that's pretty cool, that's his rear guard effect. Now his vanguard effect is um, limit break 4, nah, it does not cost counter boss. When this unit declares his attack, he can send two units, two gold paladin units from his field to the bottom of his deck and select two gold paladin units on your field to gain plus 5,000. Now this effect is pretty neat, um, it's a minus two, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I'll explain all this stuff later. Now it's three Spectral Dunk Dragon. Now, Spectral Dunk Dragon, he's not too good. Um, his ability to dunk people is pretty fun. So basically, I'll go through his effect. Uh, limit Break 4, Count of Us 2, uh, Retire 3 units um, at the end of this unit's battle step. So I attack... So regardless if they block it or not, say they block it, I can still activate this effect. So retire three units, cannibal us two, stand this unit, and it loses twin drive. Now, of course, it's not as good as Overload the End, but clearly what is. So for a restanding Vanguard, I think he is the second best. Let's see, the Sternball Kruger. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's one more before Spectral Dunk. Is there? No, I think Spectral Dunk is the second best. The second best to um, Overload the End. Because of the fact that you don't actually need to um, need to hit in order to dunk, it's pretty good. And if you have black, uh, Jet Black Vanguard Vortimer in your soul, he gains plus 1k passive. So, um, always be 11. So, good stuff. So, um, this is the deck. This is the deck I play. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to say this build is amazing. I'm going to say this build is really fun. And you make really bad choices because of how fun this deck is. So first of all, get a crash course of how to do this. Huzzah! Starting Vanguard. Let's say you draw a hand, and you're godlike at drawing. Uh, let's get some more ones in here. All right, so this is your hand of six cards. Yeah. Okay. So you go ride and then you search your top seven. What do you know? Spectral Duke. Add it to your hand. Cool beans because you're awesome at this game. Now they attack you and whatnot. So. Or this is, it's best assumed you go second in this deck. So let's assume we went second. Okay. So my opponent is now level two. Now he attacked me. Okay. No guard. Get critical trigger or whatever. Sure. Take one damage. And maybe they hit you again. It's double crit. Okay. Now it's your turn. You draw, let's see, uh, draw a random card. Let's, let's draw Garmal. Let's draw Garmal for no apparent reason. I draw. Great. So now, oh crap, I did. Fuck, I'm so bad. Alright, redo, 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 redo. Okay, anyways. So, um, after you ride it, you should call something behind or somewhere on your field. So probably something useless, because you need to sacrifice one unit in order to use the dunking effects. I almost completely forgot about that. So let's see. Sure, I'll call him here. All right. So I like, boost an attack, whatnot, drive check, etc., etc. Get hit, blah blah blah. Two crits, good. So you stand him. 
Ride, Sacrifice, so I'll send to the drop zone, and Superior Call, two cards from your deck. Let's say you're OP, and you get this, and uh, whatever, let's get some random, okay, and this, okay, so you're good at this game. So you get these two. Now you can activate this as effect to look at the top three. Now say, you know, you're, you're also pretty good. Um, here's your top three, okay, here's your top three, okay, this is my top three. Okay, this card's pretty useful when I dunk it. Play this. Um, effect, Soul Blast, draw a card, draw a card, whatever, um, let's say draw a heal trigger, sure, draw. And then this is where the fun part begins. <laughs> Call Vivian, yeah. Okay, now, I'm not saying this happens a lot, because your hand was pretty freaking godlike, if you had a hand like this. But I'm just going through the fun stuff that can happen. So you go attack with this, etc, etc, you probably didn't have space to actually call extra cards, because I'm a cheater and I actually forgot. God, I hate this deck. Why is there so many restrictions to stuff? Let's assume he is not here for no apparent reason. Because your hand is too good anyways. So okay, you attack with this, blah, blah, blah. And then you attack with this. Assuming it hits. Counter Blast 1. If you had the ability to rip the shit, out, dunk the shit out of your opponent and top this off the top... You can play this in your side, discard one card from your hand, and superior ride it. And then your vanguard will re-stand itself, because you rode. And then you get to attack again in twin drive. Now that's really, really cool that you can do that. But unfortunately, um, it doesn't happen very often, as you might Im imagine. Maybe you Vivian into um, this guy, and you play him, and then you look at the top three, and you get one of him, you play him in the side, superior ride him. It's totally possible. Like, it happens. It's not very likely that you can consistently do this. I mean, i probably run the most consistent build for this. Maybe if I took the Vivians for Flash Edge Valkyrie, but I think Flash Edge kind of sucks because it's like 8k, and I already have enough problems hitting decent numbers in this deck. It's basically just for fun, and you do a lot of stupid stuff. But it's really, really fun. Okay, so what happens? So say now you have Pelinor as your vanguard. Now, cool tip number two. All right, restand, guys, restand. So I'm at four damage. I can use limit break. You can do stuff like this. You can go attack. Okay, and then you attack with this. Now this is how it works. Okay, you act. You declare booster. His power is now added to Pelinor. So he, Pelinor is now at seventeen. Now Pelinor declares his attack. Activate Pelinor's skill. Ret send these two units back to the bottom of the deck. Effect to add power. Add power to Pelinor himself and this. Now your Pelinor is swinging for 22, and then this side is swinging for like, I don't know, 20. Now you could go, okay, add power to this and this. So this column gains plus 10k. That's pretty neat. Another thing you can do is, if you say you want to keep Vivian, you can go declare booster on Pelinor. And I'm pretty sure you can do this. I'm not 100% sure, but judging by the way people resolve, you're supposed to resolve stuff in this, in this deck, uh, in this game, um, should be totally possible. So you declare booster, and then you declare your attack. Pelinor is now at 17. Now you send this guy back to the bottom of your deck, and this guy. Say so you want to keep Vivian for your intercept. Now, you, with this effect, you add power to here and here. Now you have a 22 Pelinor with technically no booster because you sent him back. And um, that's pretty neat how you can do that. Um, but overall, Pelinor is just a fun card. It's not too good. Um, his effect is neat. It's not amazing. The, like, if you sack him off the top at level 2 with an attack, that is, like, so good. It is so good. But the reason why I don't run Flash Edge Valkyrie is because... Um, if you get it off the top, if you get it off the top and your opponent is still at level one, so say you went first, you can just call on the side and it can't really do anything. So I'd rather not invest with um, an 8k because 8k is pretty bad. Um, as you saw, I don't run any Garrets, and now that's probably a stupid idea, but um, I can't seem to find space. I'd probably take out Nimue for um, a Gareth, but I don't want to run one of Gareth, so. I don't really know what I want, but I definitely do want four of the level one bunny. The level one bunny is so good. Um, 
Soul Blast 1 draw card. So basically, if you want to play a conservative or if you don't want to play the Spectral Duke build, you can just play this in Garmal. You can play Garmal, Superior called this to the back, Soul Blast 1 draw card, plus 2, good stuff. And then, like, if you have another Garmal, you ride the Garmal, call another one, Soul Blast 1, draw another card, whoop to do. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. More plus 1s, please. So overall, Spectral Dunk is really, really fun. Like, it tempts you to make bad decisions all the time. Do I dunk him? Do I do something stupid like ride Pelinor over my original grade 3 and discard a card? Or do I use Garmal to call this and get a plus 2? Or do I use Garmal to search for Lopier Shooter and then use his effect to look at top 3 and then call Pelinor and discard a card and ride it so I minus like crazy? Because I've, I've done that a lot. It's too addicting not to do. It, I have no self-control when it comes to stuff like this. So yeah, probably if you see me playing this deck, you'll probably win because I'm going to minus myself like minus three every turn. And then I'll attack and use Pelinor's effect to send these two back. And I'll be like, okay, I have two cards in my hand, no field, go ahead. And then I'll lose. So yeah, um, this deck definitely needs a lot of self-control. Because without self-control, you're going to end up like me with no field, a Pelinor, and no rear guards. And no cards in hand. So yeah, uh, this is my Spectral Dunk. Or... Like, like I like to call it, Spectral Dunk Bunnies. Mmm, Spectral Dunk Bunnies. Oh, God, Pelinor is so cool. I think I think he's, like, the, one of the coolest um, gold paladins. I think Azel is ugly. But I think this Gundam bunny guy is pretty badass. Who would thought you can make a bunny look badass? Well, you can. So, yeah, um, I'm going to probably be doing some tweaks. Maybe I'll play only this and Garmal and not play Duke in general because Duke is... I mean, Duke gives you that advantage. All right, on one more thing. Um, Duke's effect, people say it's like, oh, yeah, um, you kill three of your own cards. It's a waste of, you know, like, your cards. But then, it's a, if you, under the assumption that you ride chain up, you have a bunch of crap, most likely. You probably have, like, a decent card and a draw trigger, a draw trigger and a critical trigger. You're just like, I'll eat them all with Spectral Duke. Eat it. And then it's fine. Like, to be honest, um, you get a lot of advantage from this. It's uncontrollable advantage. So if you're a complete sack, great. If you go Superior Call 2 cards, Gigantic Destroyer and Gareth. Wow, he's good. And then when you ride, ride again, Superior Call 2 cards, Garmal and Charge Gall. Damn, you're a good player. And no one could say anything about it. But for me, I will get Critical and Draw, Heal and Critical, Heal and Draw. A combination of those. Maybe a Vivian and a draw. That's pretty good. Lop your bunny and a draw. Basically, I'll always get shit. <laughs> or I get like two Spectral Duke Dragons. I'm like, I'm totally going to need these. And I put them in the front. And it's like, great. Great. Now I can't ride to Spectral Duke. Because I called all of them from my effing deck. So yeah. Um, overall, this deck, I like the fact that each of these level 3s are basically all Vanguard Reliant. They do not do anything in the rear guard except for a Pelinor, but he kind of doesn't count. And then, um, but they all bring a neat flavor to your deck. So Pelinor is fun. You minus him to plus power. Garmal is fun because he's actually good and plus 5k, superior call, any two or lower. Spectral Duke is fun because you can dunk people, like get two triggers, put it on Spectral Duke after they perfect guarded you, and then you restand it and dunk them. It's not... It's not amazing, but it definitely is fun and good. I'd say in the English format, Spectral Duke will not see play because you don't have access to Pelinor, Lopier Loop your Bunny, uh, I mean Lopier Shooter, and um, this bunny. I don't know what her name is, but it's a bunny. Bunny. Bunny girl. Yeah, the bunnies. I have a bunny, too. I, I'll probably show it, but then my dog would probably chase me, and then I have to run around in circles to entertain it. And then you probably wouldn't see the bunny. You'd see my dog. So that would be, that'd be counterintuitive. Anywho, so this channel for different skill with my spectral dunk bunnies. Spectral dunk bunnies. So good. I love dunk bunnies. Okay, that's all the time I got. Um, thumbs up or whatnot. Or, you know, just say, lol, you're a scrub and stuff like that. So, bye!